Good evening, Hornets. This is Mr. Love, the Prep Academy Dean here at Conservatory Green High School. And I want to say welcome to the 21-22 Trimester 2 Award Ceremony. Thank you to all the students and staff and the teachers that just did tremendous work in Tri-2. It's really a great accomplishment to make it to here to the Tri-2 Award Ceremony. Congrats to all the nominees and all the winners. May the odds forever be in your favor. Enjoy the show. Hey Hornets, it's Mr. Hippenhammer. I'm presenting the ninth grade award for composition. The winner of the award for composition for all classes goes to Alexi Weekly. Um, congratulations, Alexi. And I'm gonna read something that I wrote about your writing and your work in my class. Malcolm Gladwell said, good writing does not succeed or fail on the strength of its ability to persuade. It succeeds or fails on the strength of its ability to engage you, to make you think, to give you a glimpse into someone else's head. To me, this quote captures one of the best parts of being a writing teacher, um, which is when I'm reading my students' work and I get a clear understanding of how they see the world. I'm grateful for this, for this opportunity with Alexi because he has the ability to discern the most important points from writing on any topic, and he can convey the connections he makes with great clarity and precision. So Alexi is a gifted writer, um, but he also follows his intellectual curiosity and he doesn't just seek to know the basics, but to truly understand the topics that we cover in class. This led to him getting a perfect score on the composition final, which is an amazing feat, um, but it extends way beyond the classroom. There's so much that you can do with this gift, Alexi. Keep following your intellectual curiosity and keep on writing. The Trimester 2 Humanities Award goes to somebody who works extremely hard and who demonstrates our core values every single day. This person is consistently one of the first to share out, to ask questions, and to volunteer to read difficult texts. Um, this person treats everybody with kindness and respect and always has positive interactions with his peers and teachers. He comes to class every single day with a good attitude, ready to learn. I have truly enjoyed getting to know this person a little bit more each day, and I'm very excited to see what they'll accomplish in Tri-3 and beyond. Uh, congratulations, Michael Santiago, for this award, but also just for being like a wonderful person in general. In science, we learn to see the world through a different and wondrous lens. By better learning about the world we currently live in, we strive to create a world that does not yet exist. This takes courage, curiosity, and responsibility. In a world where women and minorities are so poorly underrepresented, there are those like you, Michelle, that remind us that barriers can be overcome and the impossible becomes possible. No matter what time of day it is, you are always ready to engage, to take risks, and learn and help those around you. Your attention to detail is remarkable, and you even correct me when I've made a mistake. And your determination is paramount even when you've had to start entire projects over again from scratch. P.S. We never did get that rocket down from off of the roof. <laughs> More than that, your compassion matches your drive. And they both go hand in hand as I see you lead others around you. Watching you be a bright example in the science classes fills me with the utmost confidence that you will continue to be a bright example for all our future scientists to come. As your advisor and as your physics and creative engineering teacher, I am beyond proud of you. Congratulations for earning this award, Michelle. Moving into an honors math class on top of starting a new school year is extremely challenging, but this student has worked so hard to make it look easy. She set the tone for this year by becoming our advisory student council representative and jumping into student government. Her passion about climate change and sustainability is spreading to the school. After starting in math one, she respectfully advocated for herself wanting more of a challenge and moved to math two eight. Since the move, she has consistently exceeded expectations. Every day, she has questions to deepen her understanding and takes her time completing every question to the best of her ability. Uh, 
and even spends time at home completing assignments fully. When she makes a mistake, she is eager to learn from it and immediately applies the lesson to other problems. Amelia, your deep desire to learn and improve encourages your classmates to follow suit. You and your family should be very proud of the hard work that you've put in this year. Learning a new language is about taking risks. It's about not being afraid to make mistakes and embracing your natural curiosity. Yamlock knows these things to be true and is a model language learner. Yamlock frequently seeks feedback on written pieces and asks for new vocabulary words. No matter how unrelated they might be to our current unit, she always seems to tie them back into a story she's writing for class. Yamlock participates often and her peers benefit greatly from that. Yamlock is also a caring member of our classroom community. She is always gravely concerned when anyone is absent and welcomes them back the following day with all of the notes and help she could possibly give. One of my favorite things about Yamlock is her facial expression. All I have to do is look at her to know exactly how the class is feeling about one of my crazy assignments. Even with a mask, I always know exactly what she's thinking and when I've gone too far in my required word count. Thank you so much for all your hard work, Yamlock. You are most deserving of the Spanish One Award for trimester two. Keep up the great work. One of my favorite moments with this student was hearing about his wild volleyball adventures in PE class. That is when I knew Omar, the recipient of the EPH1 award for trimester two, was going to keep me laughing all trimester. Omar is an excellent student who embraces all of the challenges of reading and writing in Spanish. As my EPH students know and hate, I make them write journal entries every day on random questions like what superpower would you want? Or what would your dream home look like? Omar never complains, just picks up his pencil and blows my mind with another one of his clever narratives. I always enjoy reading Omar's work because it is always so Omar. Omar never shies away from asking questions and is reflective and thoughtful in exploring Mexican history. He has an incredible sense of humor that always appears at the perfect moment. Omar, thank you for all of your hard work so far this year. It has been incredible watching you learn and grow as a writer in Spanish. I can't wait to see you finish the year strong. You are most deserving of this EPH award for trimester two. Keep up the good work. Estoy muy feliz a decir que Nikte es la ganadora del segundo trimestre para la clase de música por hacer todo bien con, con su, sus trabajos grupales y también su grupo, eh, digo, su trabajo independiente. Así que muchísimas gracias, Nikte. Uh, por ser una líder en uh, la clase. Gracias. This next award is a really, really big, big deal. deal. We have some amazing ninth graders at this school, but the ninth grade core value award winner stands, stands above, above the rest. rest. Who is this amazing student? Team Win. He's, He's our hero. Team continuously confronts challenges head on, whether it's asking to be signed up for MT to work on his developing skills and composition, pushing himself to complete extra credit assignments to end the trimester strong in all of his classes, or spending his spare time playing Duolingo for Spanish class. Team, we appreciate and celebrate you for exactly who you are and feel incredibly lucky to count you as part of the CG community. Congratulations, Congratulations team. team. I feel very lucky to be able to give you this award. As a world literature student and as a person in general, you are a standout kid. Your passion for learning and your deep commitment to being ever curious about the world around you is going to take you far in life. Every day you set a great example and you are a natural leader. Stay driven. I know you can do anything you put your mind to and I cannot wait to see what you accomplish. Congratulations.
Hi Hornets, it's Miss K. I'm super stoked to be announcing the Tri-2 History Award winner. Uh, congratulations, Jose. You've really earned this achievement through your consistent efforts to uphold all of DSST's core values. You really show your teachers and your peers what it means to do your best. You push all of us to do our best through your quick wit and your legendary debate skills. So keep doing you. Thanks for being so awesome. Congratulations. Okay, I have to start by saying that I have been extremely blessed by my current AP Chemistry class. Every single student is highly capable, hardworking, and such a joy to teach. Narrowing in on just one student to highlight this trimester was extremely hard and probably the hardest trimester award decision-making process that I've ever had. But it ultimately came down to one thing, vulnerability. In my entire career, I don't think that I've seen a student be more vulnerable academically for the sake of growing and understanding. Aisha is bold in pursuit of true learning and true understanding, so she approaches her academics with a level of maturity that is often not seen in the 10th grade. She understands that not everything will come easily. In fact, sometimes, and often, in AP Chemistry, a topic will surface that takes a long time to grasp and a lot of practice to master. Aisha meets these challenges with grace, tenacity, and a deep commitment to herself. Congratulations, Aisha, for modeling what it looks like to be vulnerable and fearless in pursuit of understanding the world around you. I'm so proud of you and cannot wait to see what you do in Tri3. Hi everyone, this is Miss Han here and I'm so excited to present to you the Trimester 2 Math Award. This sophomore is a very special student who comes into class every single day willing to do their best. This student pushes their peers around them to make sure that not only is she doing her best and growing, but also making sure that others around her are feeling good and confident and successful with their work and learning as well. Um, I just want to shout out Loti. Thank you so much for being a great student and for coming to class every single day, engaging with the material, participating, and making sure that we have a positive learning environment. We really appreciate everything that you do and we wanted to recognize you for putting in the work and being consistent with it. So shout out to you and thank you again for doing your best. I'm happy to announce Casey as the award winner for Spanish 2, Trimester 2. Uh, absolutely wonderful job working independently, also in small groups, and using your art as, as a means to express all the knowledge you've been acquiring this trimester. Great job. Este estudiante es un miembro importante de nuestra clase. Es una de las pocas personas que nunca se queda callada. Siempre tiene algo que compartir con la clase o en una conversación individual. Este estudiante tiene un pensamiento fascinante y me sorprende lo mucho que sabe de los temas que hablamos en clase. Puedo tener una conversación intelectual con este chico y la verdad son conversaciones fascinantes. Hugo tiene ganas de aprender, de estar en clase y saber un poco más de lo que estamos aprendiendo. Tiene curiosidad de estar aprendiendo más y más. Estas son algunas de las tantas razones por las cuales Hugo es un gran merecedor del premio de español. Felicidades Hugo, sigue teniendo la curiosidad de aprender más. Estoy muy orgulloso de todo lo que haces y emocionado por lo que harás en el futuro. Hi, I'm Mr. Wilson, and the 2022 Tri-2 10th Grade Creative Core Award goes to Alex Guan for his exceptional effort in advanced engineering. Alex and his team decided to build a trebuchet for their projectile launcher project. It didn't work, but Alex was resolved to improve it. He came into MT multiple times a week for months in order to find a solution that worked. I hope the engineers who design the cars we drive and the buildings we live in are as persistent as Alex's. Congrats. It is now my honor to present to you all 10th grade Core Value Award winner. So this award goes out to somebody that comes to school every single day willing to put in the work, willing to do their best. 
This person lives their daily lives with integrity, courage, and curiosity. This person is passionate and proud of their identity. And I just want to congratulate Ashley Romero. Thank you so much for being that consistent, positive energy in all of your classes. Not only do you put others before you, you always make sure that it is a comfortable learning environment and making sure that your peers are growing as just as much as you are. So congratulations, your teachers appreciate you so much and you're doing a fantastic job. We're so excited to see what the future has for you. All right, Hornets, congratulations to every single one of you who won an award this trimester. What an incredible honor. We are so proud of you and all of the work that went into this. Thank you also uh, to all of the families and community who have supported students along the way. Uh, and thanks for tuning in tonight. We're so glad to have you to celebrate our students. And don't forget, Hornets, that if you didn't earn an award this trimester, it's not too late. Trimester three is by far the most important trimester. End the year strong, end it powerfully, and we know that you'll be rewarded for the hard work that you're putting in each and every day. You got this, we know you can succeed, and it will be the best possible trimester as long as you put in the effort and live those core values. Congratulations.